What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 14 of my full playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2 on the PlayStation 4. It's been quite a while since I've played Crash, but that's because the Black Ops 6 beta came out this weekend, so I was playing that a lot, but I'm back to Crash. And I believe last time we got the clear gem in snow biz which we couldn't have gotten before because we need the red gem to unlock a red gem path in that level and half the boxes in that level were down the red gem path so we got that clear gem then we went into hang eight and got the clear gem there and how that worked it was it was similar to plant food where in plant food you had to beat the level in a time limit to get the yellow gem well, in Hang 8, you had to beat the level in a time limit to get the clear gem. So we got those. So now what we're going to do in this part is we're actually going to start this part by doing the Tiny Tiger boss fight. And then I think I'm going to go back into Unbearable and get the clear gem there, as well as unlock the, um, the hidden exit to the level. So... Let's get right into Tiny Tiger. So if you remember, the first world boss fight was Ripperoo. He was pretty easy. He was just jumping around on a pogo stick. And you had to avoid him. And then he would have TNT spawn. You'd wait for the TNT to blow up. And then he'd have nitrous cells spawn. You wait for those. And then you have to hit him. And then you rinse and repeat three times. And then we had the Komodo brothers in World 2. They were pretty easy. Just avoid them until one of them gets uh, dizzy. And then you hit one of the brothers into the other. And you do that three times. So now we got to do Tiny Tiger. He's going to be a little tougher than the other two. And you'll see why in a second. But he's one of my favorite characters in this game. Just because he's a giant tiger. So let's go beat him up. He doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. Look at him. He's just a giant tiger. Okay. So you gotta jump on these platforms. So you see the ones that are beeping red? Yeah, well, don't do that. But what you want to do is get him to jump on the ones that are beeping red. Because after a couple seconds, they're going to uh, fall away. So that's fine. So this is actually very similar to the Ripperoo boss fight for the first game, except there's no TNT. It's just him jumping around. There we go. We got him. That was once. Got to do that two more times. It's not a hard fight. You just got to avoid getting hit by him. All right. He's like, damn it! He made me fall 500 feet. Oh yeah, you're gonna fall 500 feet again, boy. He's like, no, I can't fly with these big arms. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm fine. Damn it, not again. My weakness. <laughs> and that's it. That's literally all he had to do. And now he's like, I give up. Oh, and you see in the background, who's that guy? It's some random scientist keeps going through a warp pipe. What's he doing? He's going up and down an elevator. And that's literally it. That was, what, two minutes? And I died twice because I wasn't paying attention? That's how easy that fight is. <laughs> All you have to do is jump on platforms wait for the red ones to come in jump on them to get him to jump on them and then he'll fall down three times that's all you have to do i'm telling you man the boss fights in this game are really easy way easier than the first game oh man 
So that was that was simple. So I think the boss of the next world is Engine, who we haven't seen yet. At least we haven't seen him as a boss, but we have seen him before. He was in the cutscene at the beginning of the game. So we'll face him, and then the final boss is obviously Neo Cortex. So now that we've beaten Tiny Tiger, let's go back into Unbearable and unlock the bonus exit and also get all the boxes so we can get the clear gem and that'll almost finish this world then we just gotta get the clear gem and road to ruin and move on to the next area so let's go so the giant bear opens a secret passage that's important now that actually isn't the hidden exit to the level i thought it was it's actually how we get the rest of the boxes the hidden exit to the level is something else that I'm going to show you. Oh, I know this. Giant polar bear! Oh, and I got hit by the first thing! I didn't jump, I just slid. It's been a while, alright? Oh crap, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? I didn't want to hit that. Because I didn't want to start the time trial. Uh -oh. Let's talk about this, Mr. Polar Bear. I don't want to hurt you, and you don't want to hurt me. And besides, I'm going to be riding your little cub friend in a second, right? It's a truce. Why can't I spin the lizard? Why, why can't I? I should be able to spin the stupid lizard. Why are lizards immune to crash? Is that how that works? Just get out of my way then, lizard, if you're not gonna die. Ha ha! Now he's just taking a nap. He's like, I'm done. You tired me out, man. Now I'm gonna have my brother come after you. Brother, go! No, not his brother. His brother's more angry than the previous one. Oh! No! No! Lizards, get out of the way. Okay, I think this is the place we need to go. Right? I think it is. Okay, so you know how previous times something has fallen down a cliff, all the planks have gone away? Well, this is the first time where there's actually planks here, and that's important. It's trying to tell you that you could go this way. So we're going to fall down here, and this is going to be a hidden area of the level where the rest of the boxes are. And then I think it'll load us back to here, and then we can finish the level. So let's go! See? Look at this. Oh, I forgot about this. I hate that guy with a passion! So he fires a slow-moving bullet. And you have to avoid the slow moving bullet, but sometimes he'll be way off screen and you have to avoid the bullet multiple times to get to him. I hate this! Oh! This is the worst bonus area of all time. Okay, so you're gonna have to slide jump there. And then slide jump over there. Luckily, we got an Akua coup. Now, I will note that this is not a bonus level, so you are going to lose lives here, okay? So you can see you got to avoid the slow moving bullet. Get out of my way. The funny thing is, he kind of looks like the character from uh, Jumanji. Like the first Jumanji from the 1990s. The guy that was the hunter that was chasing after Robin Williams' character. It's, pre it's pretty weird. 
Why are you chasing after me now? Okay, so now we gotta avoid the turtle and the bullet. Oh, I thought I could duck under it. I thought I could duck under it. Oh. 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 No. Oh, I, okay. I, I, tr I tried. Damn it. I got so far that time. Get out of my way. If I could keep my Aku Aku until that point, that would be great. Oops. There we go. I don't remember how long this area is either. I remember it being pretty long. Shoot. There we go. Yeah, give me that fruit. There we go. Oh, how? I went right into it. And the problem is you can't do anything about it. Like, you can't spin the bullet. You just have to just jump over it. It sucks. It's so slow moving, too. It's annoying. You're getting hit by, like, something traveling at the speed of a turtle. How'd I do that? How'd I even do that? Emmet crash. Well, this is gonna be the second half of the video. I beat Tiny Tiger in two minutes, and now I'm gonna do this for a thousand years. Give me the fruit. Damn it, I keep doing that. Uh, no! Jump further. There we go. I'm not losing any lives, which is good, because there's a lot of fruit here. Yeah, you load that gun again and I'll beat you up. Beat you up crash style. Hmm. Yeah, now you can't get me. Ha ha. I'm up here in my safe space. Damn it. Uh. Uh. Ah. Yeah, checkpoint. I took him out and the turtle. Okay, hold on. So now, do that, because I need to break that box. Oh, now there's metal armadillos? This armadillo's got body armor on. What's that all about? Who even gave him that body armor? Oh, you could jump off of him? What am I supposed to do here, huh? Oh, that's what I do. Well, damn it. Oh, I jumped right into it. I, I couldn't avoid both. I went right into it. That's how I roll. 
I can't do anything about him. He just pushed me out of the way. Okay. Cool. Why did... Okay. Not missing these two boxes. Got to get everything! No! Hit the thing. So you can't do anything about that armadillo? That's like, not cool. care oh yeah I think that's it oh I panicked I panicked that was the end of the thing and I panicked I didn't slide jump I freaking just slid and did nothing are you kidding me that was it damn it man Man, I had it. Don't care. Okay, slide jump, you heathen. Oh, no, we're not done. Never mind. Or maybe we are. Maybe this is the end. How, how are you supposed to do that? How? I was holding the X button. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. Out of my way, armadillo. That's okay. Damn, it's trying to graze my ear. I thought I could duck under it. I keep doing that. Luckily, there's enough fruit down this path where I'm not losing much lives. Uh, okay, just... I was trying to use the invincibility to my advantage. Didn't work. Now I got a double Aku Aku, though. That'll work. Ugh. Man, I barely made that jump. <sighs> okay. Oh, I, I did something to the armadillo. Didn't know I could do that. Okay, so what are you supposed to do here? Uh, I I don't know what to do there. I really don't. Because I don't think you could slide jump on that. Oh, I panicked again. Whatever. Damn it. I couldn't get through everything. I'm 
I'm gonna be getting a uh, triple pity mask pretty soon. Whatever, man. Forgetting about the moles. Uh, I can't make the jump. Why would you put a jump like that? Just put a jump pad. Like a metal jump pad. Don't put a stupid thing that I can't jump on. is getting assassinated over and over again by that dumb bullet. miss that jump because I just don't I sometimes I just don't slide just want to finish this because now I have to do the rest of the level afterwards jump uh, okay okay uh, we did it yes took so long okay now we can just finish the level oh and now there's a bonus level that's funny might as well hit that and this is a checkpoint yay Oh, and look at all the fruit. They're like, yeah, you died a lot of times in that bonus area? That sucks. Here's a lot of fruit. Thanks, buddy. Two, 16 more boxes. No, Mr. Polar Bear. Whoops. Oh, 
Oh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright, and remember, I think this is where we ride the polar bear. Yep. Whee! Oh! Ran right into that. I thought I had a mask left. I did not. It's okay. He gets that. Normally, I'd be upset by missing a box, but he gets the box for me. Oh boy. Okay, so normally you'd want to finish the level, which I'm going to do. Hold on. I'm just going to get the gem. And then can I go back out? Yes, okay. So I got the gem. So now what you want to do. I think you gotta slide jump back over there to unlock the bonus exit. I think. How do I do that? There we go. So you see how he's just lounging over there? Well, if you touch him, that's the hidden exit to the level. Hey, buddy. And there you go. So we got the clear gym and we got the hidden exit. That's what I wanted to do. So now this right here called Totally Bear is actually another level. This isn't like an entrance into one of the previous levels. This is a, a totally different level. So that's cool. So we're back in this little warp area. If you remember, we did this warp area which we had to get through air crash and it was a hidden area to get into snow go to get the red gem but we also got to get into road to ruin we got to do totally bear uh and totally fly that's another um different level and then we got to get into air crash and get that gem so let's go back down or up, I mean. And we'll do... I guess we'll do Totally Bear next time. Because that's a new level. So in the second warp room, we have to get the clear gem and air crash. And that's it. And then we can do Totally Bear. And then I think in the third warp room, we're pretty much done, except for Road to Ruin. Okay, we still gotta find out how to get into Road to Ruin. So we're not actually gonna go up to the fourth warp room yet, because, you know, Cortex is gonna talk to us. So instead, we're just gonna end the part here. We did a little bit. We beat Tiny Tiger in two minutes. That was a quick boss fight not even that hard and then the other half of the video was trying to get the clear gem and unbearable that was hard the slow moving bullets from that hunter were annoying the turtles with the buzz saws coming out of the top of them were annoying i died so many times and yet i only lost five lives because of all the lives i was gaining in that area so but we did it so I think you had to avoid a total of four or five of those hunters the first one was easy because you're right on top of them the second one wasn't that bad it was the third one that sucked the third one you had to get to them along a long route and then the fourth one wasn't that bad so at least we got it so let's do a check-in we're 53% done we got 15 out of 25 crystals, and we have half the gems in the game, 21 out of 42, including four colored gems, blue, red, green, and yellow. There's one more colored gem. I think it's purple, and it's probably in either world four or five, and then we got a lot of, gem a lot of gems left to get. So I think, like I said, next time we'll either do that level totally bare or we'll just move on to the fourth warp room. 
but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new by hitting that subscribe button and then clicking on that notification bell sending it to all notifications so that you never miss a single video and Crash and I will catch you in part 15 so I'll see you all later